We've been hearing an awful lot from the Fed this week with a number of presidents weighing in on what's next for the central bank's battle with inflation. For the latest, we turn to Yahoo Finance Fed reporter Jen Schomberger. Jen, what's the latest? Good afternoon, Dave. Atlanta Fed President Raphael Bostic says he's going to stay open to the possibility that if the data come in stronger than expected, the case could be made for higher interest rates than previously expected. Bostic, speaking with reporters on a call this afternoon, said, quote, there is the case that could be made that it, we need to go higher. Consumer spending is strong and labor markets remain quite tight. And those suggest that the economy's strength could be a bit more than people think, which means we might need to do more. Now, these comments come after Bostic wrote in an essay Wednesday that he believes the Fed needs to raise its policy rate by 50 basis points to a range of five to five and a quarter percent and hold it at that level well into 2024. Though Bostic said he wouldn't firmly commit to a policy rate until the meeting on March 21st and 22nd. He also said he's firmly in the camp of moving in quarter point increments. Bostic also told me he expects the Fed would be in a position by mid to late summer to pause rate hikes. And once they do, they should hold and not have policy bounce around. Now, Bostic's comments come after Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari said Wednesday that he's open-minded about whether to raise by 25 or 50 basis points at the next meeting. He said he thinks it's more important that the Fed signals how much higher it intends to raise rates, that so-called dot plot. Kashkari says he'd lean towards continuing to raise rates further than the 5.4 percent he projected back in December. Now, Kashkar will participate in a radio interview this evening at 6 p.m. on the economy, justice and race. We'll also hear from Fed Governor Chris Waller at 4 p.m. on his economic outlook. Guys. Yeah, Jim, when you take a look at the market's reaction today, it looks like investors are trying to shake off those concerns about higher rates. What do you think the market is expecting from the Fed next meeting, given the rhetoric that we've heard from the Fed over the last several days? Shauna, I think that the Fed is still going to continue to move in 25 basis point increments. They want to remain cautious. They've done a lot of work over the past year, and they're finally getting into this period of time after raising for eight to 10 months where we're, they're going to start to see the bite of that monetary policy start to kick in. So they want to walk that tightrope of still bringing inflation down, but not crashing the economy. And so that's why I think you'll continue to move them. You'll continue to see them move in slower increments. Having said that, we have seen some higher inflation reports as of late, certainly that blowout jobs report we got. We're going to get another jobs report next Friday. Uh, officials are going to take all of this into account when they look to how high they're ultimately going to raise their policy rate. And I wouldn't be surprised, given the comments that we've seen over the past couple of uh, weeks, that they may move it up just a bit. Right now, they're looking at about five to five and a quarter, which is where Bostic falls. Maybe we see it inch up a little bit from here, yeah. guys. Can't help but wonder another 500,000 jobs created will change uh, the thought process there. Jen Schomberger, thanks so much. Appreciate that.